Hey everybody, welcome back and Happy New Year! I hope everybody's New Year has started off fabulously, or at least is going pretty good now, anyhow. Alright, I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, during like um, the Christmas holidays, I had put up an Elfer brush uh, nail art kit giveaway. And I had bought myself a kit, which comes with a mini striper brush. A striper brush, a detail brush, a liner brush, and a fan brush. And I'm going to show you all of them in a minute. And then I also got a synthetic um, number six flat. Okay. And then a synthetic number six short oval. They also sent over, where is the duplicate? Because I've been using him, the mini striper brush, <clears throat> excuse me, for review, because I that's the brush that I chose, because I'm like, mm, if I like something, I want two of it. So since I already have it with the kit that I purchased, um, I asked if I could have a second one of, of the mini striper brush. And then I asked for the number four short oval because my nails are so tiny 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 and you know a lot of the clients have tiny tiny nail beds too so you need to flip back and forth between the sizes of your brushes the shapes of your brushes so on and so forth okay let me see here i'm gonna start popping them out of the tubes which i should have done to <laughs> new year say me I should have popped them out of the tube to begin with, but for you guys who like to make aquarium brushes and stuff like that, they're the perfect size, or you can cut them down in half, you know, whatever floats your boat. So I'm going to put this one right back in though, because I already have him out. Do I nude? Do I not? Do I not? Do I not? Yes, so I'm not going to go. All right, comes with the tip. Do not keep the tip. Do not put it back on your brush every single time that's absolutely nonsense it gets contaminated foggy sticky it's just plain stupid you just wipe your your brush off and the next time you go to use it you take some isopropyl alcohol spray it on a lint free wipe not saturated just a light spray and just fold your brush over like this and it's a good to go again okay and definitely do not put it in um, acetone or soak it in rubbing alcohol because I've seen I've seen a bunch of videos lately and I'm like <gasps> cringe all right then you get this cute little fan brush which should be perfect to you know dust off your glitters your sugars whatever you're doing uh, by the way, new lighting situation going on, and I'm pretty much blind, so um, <laughs> I hope everything isn't overly saturated now, but I guess I'll find out after. <sighs> All right, these things are buggered open. Okay, then we have our smaller regular liner brush, which I have one of these already from the ones that I bought, so I'm going to put him on the side and put him back in the tube. Okay, then we got the big daddy. Seems to me I have the detailed brush as well that I bought, but I don't know where the hell he is. So, all right, we're gonna take him off. And your brushes do not have glue in them, okay? I am so tired of people saying, oh, well, I gotta take the glue out of my brush. No, you freaking don't. <laughs> there is no glue in any of your brushes. It is just water and cornstarch. That is it to hold the shape. So these ones, this one is um, natural hair and as you can see can you see that as I pulled my nail across it that's all it is because it's a natural brush so you don't need to be going soaking it in acetone or anything else that is it that is all and he's ready to go that's it. 
Okie dokies. Okie dokies. Move that over there. And we're going to pop out the little duder. By the way, if anybody is interested in the Alpha brushes, just you can go to their website and get 10% off by using code Cheetah10 at checkout. I do not get any money back from you using the code, nothing like that, not from any of the codes that I provide. It's simply for you guys to save money. I don't get nothing out of it. So this is the cute little detail brush. Okay, so here's all our brushes together. All right, so now these ones I've used, okay. So because last time I used them, I did wipe them out. But see, he may be slightly stiff, not like incredibly. Excuse me, what? I just burped, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm literally, that's it. That is it. And I'm going to fold it over, pull it through. Fold it over, pull it through. And he's perfect and nimble and back to shape. Okay? It's so easy, it's so simple. Alright. Let's see if I can just show you guys how well these work. Hopefully I don't flop. I've been away from the YouTubes and doing videos and nail art and everything for a little while because nobody around here has been feeling well, especially me lately. So, um, anywho, what do I start off with? What should I start off with? Let's do the long one. Let's do the actual striper brush because I've never used him before. So I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to pull it. and roll it because you want to keep uh, everything like together and uniform. You don't want the bristles or the hairs to separate. So roll it, pull it through, roll it, pull it through. You don't want a crap ton on there, but enough to get your job done. And he is so long, you're going to in theory, we're about to find out, should be able to get one stripe. One continuous stripe. Okay, my thing is not even. Okay, sorry. <laughs> different, different background, so it's not even. So I'm just going to go right down the middle. God, I hope this is not oversaturated. I'm sorry, guys, if it is. <laughs> Bam! Holy crap! Look at that! How freaking perfect is that? And with one sweep. If you want to go over it again, gel follows gel, so because it's already down there and wet, you could do it again. Say if you missed a spot, like right here, there was like a little piece missing. But the key to this is, see what I'm doing? I'm always anchoring that pinky. That gives you stability, because otherwise, watch. My hands, especially in certain directions that I turn to, are always shaking, okay? so. That is a Z secret. Now what you're going to do, and that's dry now pretty much, so I'm just going to, two more pumps. I'm going to put light pressure and roll it through. Light pressure, roll it through. He's clean, he's perfectly reshaped and ready to go for the next time. So now you're going to want to put him away in a nice drawer. I have like those um, long containers, you know, that you can put inside your drawers. You can get them at the dollar store. <clears throat> it's about this wide, uh, about four inches wide, I'd say, or three inches, well, three and a half inches wide, whatever. By like, uh, 
maybe five, six inches long, something like that, but long enough for my brush anyways. So that's what I put my brushes in. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the mini striper brush, which is thicker. So you will get a thicker line or you can go in and you can paint like inside if you did like uh, little squares and stuff like that you can use it for that as well but once again anchor that pinky place them down and follow through okay put more on the brush roll it as you load it so that way it's taking on all the bristles but you're not getting like a too much you know like a crap ton and this is the I'm Ali white in number uh, 11 so there you go so you'll get a thicker line now same thing gonna roll it through Pressure, roll it through, roll it through. Clean, ready to go for next time. Fan brush, pretty much self-explanatory. I already said that one. <laughs> okay, so I did that one, I did that one, and then I just gotta do this one. So now you have um, the liner brush. So you can also use him for small details, coloring things in. So I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna roll or if you're gonna be doing like shorter lines, things like that. So I was gonna do like a geometric shape or something like that. Let's just do a line, connect him. And then you could just go in. Whoops. First, leave it to me to screw it up. Please tell me I was on camera. The zookeeper ain't at herself. She just ain't at herself. Life drama. Nail world drama. Which that I'm gonna fix right quick. Just a little warning, ladies and gents. Be careful who you think your friends are, because they're really out for themselves. That's all I'm going to say. Because I'm going to do a dedicated video on that. But in the meantime, <laughs> if somebody warns you about somebody, there's a there's a reason for it. I'm just going to say that. So that is the Elena brush. And then, of course, you've got your itty bitty detail brush. Okay. So he's short and stubby. Kind of like me. <laughs> Or, or my phalanges, short and stubby. And then, oh, so soft. I believe mm, the price is $21.85 for the set. Um, yeah, if you buy them individually, it comes to like $9. But I mean, $21.85 for a nail or brush set which is all you need apart from like you know maybe some other like super fine brushes that I use which you can get for like a buck um but also check out their site because in their sales section and their special section they always have super 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 cheap brushes like I think these were like 250 you know what I'm saying and then I had bought a pack of um student acrylic brushes number five because you should always start off with a small brush never bigger than a than a six or an eight but um, like I said, because I have such small hands and some of my clients have small hands um, or nail beds, I should say, um, nail plates that, you know, a smaller brush does come in handy when you're trying to lay down, you know. So anyways, so I bought a bunch of them and I think it was like a buck, you know, and then I'll give some out to those who, who need it and like, why not? Why not? Right, right. Okay, so I think my lights are like um, a little too bright because I have a bunch of new LED lights on my like big pole over there and it's like boof. Okay, what shall we do? I guess I could go in.
you know, do light pressure. Or like I said, you can just color in as well again in small areas and stuff like that. Hence the detail. But I mean, he does make... You always do like a rough sketch of your circle. Don't try and get it perfect on the first go. It ain't gonna happen. There we go. See? That also comes with practice. Everything is practice, practice, practice. But yeah, so, whoopsies, I just knocked some polish over because that's what I do. All right, clean him off real well. And bam, he's ready for the next go around. So yeah, I mean, I hope this was useful and you can see how amazing, I mean, just the line work alone is like freaking incredible. So like I said, you get, where'd they go? Where'd he go? I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing, where, where'd he go? Wow. Brain fart? Okay. Once again, you get the liner brush, the detail brush, the striper brush, the mini striper brush, and the fan brush. Okay, and there they all are. So some of it, they mix their products between synthetic and natural 100% uh, Kalinsky. So I believe this is, this one is a synthetic, while well, these two are a natural um, Kalinsky. This one is a synthetic as well, I believe, or a lower grade Kalinsky. But this one is not uh, Kalinsky here. I'm gonna show you a real fast, as I punched myself in the face while taking the tube off. Wow, this video is going great. Gonna just toss all the bristles. See, but for my tiny little pinky, let's block that out because he's taking over. See? Because otherwise, if I break out, let's say, I've got like so many alpha brushes, it's insane. Oh, I did have a detail brush. Wah, I knew it. See, so now I went and used them for nothing, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm rummaging through my container if, uh, if you'd be wondering. So, you know, I always have different sizes because, you know, everybody's got different size nail plates. So I got the number six, which is the same as this one, except this is um, not, it's, you know, synthetic. Because I like to use that for like glitters and potted gels. Well, these I specifically only use for uh, hard gels or soak off gels in the bottle. So then, you know, you got the number eight, which has been used to death, like literally. But look how perfect, if they're still in perfect shape and they've been used to death. I also have my capped ones, which I use for color and glitter. Oh, well, I got about five of those, but you know, you can get in the black or you can get in the silver. Okay, the ones in the silver are not natural, it's synthetic. So as you can see, this one's for color. But I have designated ones for color, glitter, so on and so forth, because that's what you, that's that's just what you do. And when you're finished using it, oh my gosh, I can't talk. When you're finished using your brushes, you just do what I did once again. You take the cloth or your non linty, you know, your lint free wipe, and you wipe off the excess gel, but you always leave gel. See, in your brush, so that way it stays maintained, the shape. Unless there's like a massive cake up uh, or whatever the case may be, then every once in a while, yes, you can go ahead and you can clean it um, 
in uh, isopropyl alcohol or a mixture of 100% uh, acetone, which is like what, two teaspoons or two tablespoons um, to like 90, like, you know, 90% to 10% ratio, you know what I'm saying? So more isopropyl alcohol than uh, acetone to get it clean, but I wouldn't do that very often. And once you're done cleaning them like that, you dry them off, you put them right back into your clear builder gel or whatever clear gel you're using and you wipe them off and you put them back to their nice point. And look, I've been using these for uh, two and a half years. And look how perfect. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that, show you guys that. So if you're looking for good, affordable brushes, they're affordable because think about it every single time you go onto aliexpress or onto ebay or whatever the case may be you're spending two dollars here two dollars there three dollars here three dollars there a dollar here a dollar there but then they get all poofy like a cat on crack let me see if i've got a cat on crack one here i'm pretty sure i do yeah here we go see then they end up looking like a cat on crack and super stiff and it has a cap but yet it looks like a cat on crack and I took really good care of it. So, you know, quality, you know what I'm saying? In the end is it's worth it because you actually end up spending more money, um, buying these cheaper brushes. Okay. Like I don't mind spending a dollar on a specific liner brush. I absolutely love, you know, if it lasts me six months a year, I'm thrilled. I don't mind spending another dollar, but you know, yeah, this is, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying, saying. Uh, these brushes also have a shorter handle, so it's more comfortable for somebody who has like a smaller hand. So like myself, I has a little big hands. Okay. All right. So I know this video has been super, super long and going on to 23 minutes, so I'm just going to shut up right now. But <clears throat> you guys have seen me use these brushes all the time. Or you can go back, uh, I'll put a video at the end um, so you can see where I'm using some of them, if I remember. If not, just like remind me, say, yo, Zookeeper, can I see the videos, please? Or just go ahead and rummage through my channel. There's not that many videos. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, you know, comments, concerns, whatever, whatever, you just want to chat, go ahead and uh, leave it down below. Um, everything as per usual will be down in the description box. So all the links to all the sellers with discount codes and things like that. Just remember it's for your benefit only, not mine. I do not get anything from anyone at any point in time. Okay. So it's strictly to benefit you. So I love you guys very, very much. I am happy to be back for however long that's going to last. I don't know, but I'm here for now. And, um, yeah. So just remember, um, we build each other up. We do not tear each other down. Shenanigans, because life is too short. And support, support, support. And like I said before, you know, pay attention to when it comes to who you think your true friends are in the internet world. All right. Y'all see shortly, but anyhow. Okay. I love you guys. And please smash that thumbs up button. Or, you know, thumbs down, whatever. It's your prerogative. I'm not going to force you. And um, for those of you that are new, I hope you like. Go ahead and uh, watch some previous videos if you want. And for my returning uh, zoo fam, my friends, I love you all so, 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 so much. Okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.